Hello Thrivers, today I want to talk about guilt. The guilt that comes up after you've broken free of toxic family members. And I wanted to do this video right after I did the video on no contact, which if you haven't seen it yet, please make sure you check it out. There's the link for that there. In that video, I talk about what no contact is, what it isn't, what it accomplishes, as well as what it does not accomplish. Okay, but I did not bring up guilt, and that's what I want to address in this video today. So if you have family members that are psychologically and emotionally abusive, and they controlled you for a long period of your life until finally, finally you stumbled on information and realized that those behaviors are toxic. And not only are they toxic, but they were harming you and keeping you from living the life that you wanted to the point that you realized that you had to make some changes. And maybe you've now already broken free of all toxic people, but now you're struggling with this guilt. And it's almost like this guilt is pulling you back in the direction of those toxic people. If that's your case, if that resonates with you, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. For those that don't know me, my name is Michelle. I'm a life and relationship coach. And my channel is all about narcissistic abuse recovery as well as complex PTSD recovery. I'm the founder of the Thriver School of Transformation, which by the way, this is the last week. We're gonna be closing the doors to enrollment for about three months. If you wanna join, here's the link for that. But that's where we meet live on Zoom and we work through complex PTSD together. Okay, so let's get into guilt. First of all, if you feel guilt, I just want to say that working through toxic family dynamics is hard. Reaching the conclusion that your family members are more harmful than beneficial in your life to the point that you have to make big decisions like maybe going no contact or going low contact or putting down boundaries and having to endure their not only disapproval, but sometimes their nasty anger in response to your healthy behaviors. Feeling guilty is normal, okay? Because guilt, guilt is feeling bad for something that's that you did. And if we were to be dead honest, doesn't, don't we all feel bad that we actually have to take such drastic measures with toxic members? Don't we feel bad that our family doesn't allow us to have those healthy dynamics, right? That's normal to feel bad and sad about things like that. You're human. You really have to give yourself some grace and compassion on this journey, okay? Because taking these measures isn't easy and they're not done in a heartless way. In fact, the, the reality is, is that the fact that you feel guilt shows that you have empathy and it shows that you have a heart, that you're not trying to be a cold person with these decisions that you're making. Okay. So I just had to say that I do know, however, that that doesn't make the guilt go away, but I, I at least wanted to validate it for you. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is why it doesn't go away and what's going on inside of you, because there's a fine line between feeling bad and feeling sad about the way things are and feeling the kind of guilt that robs your happiness, that doesn't allow you to live in the present moment, the kind of guilt that has your mind constantly ruminating about the past, ruminating about your family and unable to really enjoy your life. So you cut out toxic people and then the guilt is not allowing you to enjoy your life. This is a CPTSD symptom and I call it that because on a logical sense, right? With, with all logic and reasoning, you know, logically, that what you're doing is the right thing to do. You know that technically with everything you've been through, what you're doing is good for you. It's a positive thing. You know that it's the correct thing to do, whatever boundaries you've, you've placed down. But logically, you know it's the right thing, but your body and the emotions that are coming up in your body, they're on a different story, right? They're on a story that tells you you're bad. You're not a good child or sibling or a cousin, whatever the relationship is. 
you're doing something wrong. And those beliefs cause you to feel such intense emotions. So your logical mind is pulling you forward. It wants to move forward. It wants to just let go of toxic people, but the guilt is moving you backwards, making you feel as if you're not allowed or you're not safe or you're bad or you're doing something wrong. And that's one where it's like the, the division and the fight is no longer between you and somebody toxic. It's between you, your logical mind, and your subconscious mind. And that's the CPTSD recovery part. Okay. If you grew up in narcissistic family dynamics, where maybe you had a parent that made you feel bad for anything you did for yourself. If you made a decision by putting down a boundary as a child, saying no to something, sharing a different perspective, and you were severely punished or shamed, your nervous system became imprinted with doing something that you feel is right is bad. And that's when it gets confusing when you're an adult, because logically you're really not thinking about that in childhood. You're not thinking like that. You know full well that what you're doing is correct but your nervous system has its own mind, so to speak. It has its own neuroception where it will determine what is safe and what is good and what is bad based on things from the past, based on the imprints from the past. And your nervous system is imprinted most deeply by the things that caused you the strongest emotional response. So if in childhood, you were constantly made to feel bad every time you did something for yourself, every time you had your own perspective, any time that you went against what your toxic family wanted or thought, then that is deeply ingrained in you. And so what's coming up now in your adult life isn't, this is the weird part. It's not you, it's your nervous system. It feels like you, and yet you know it's not. This is the reason why I feel like so many people after narcissistic relationships or narcissistic parenting, they go out on their own and they don't feel like themselves. And it's because consciously they know who they are and they know what they want and they know what's good for them. But subconsciously they're being pulled and twisted into feeling and thinking things that are kind of going in the opposite direction. So is this resonating? And if we don't understand this, if we don't understand what's going on in the nervous system, okay, what will happen is we will start to feel guilt and feeling guilt. It's something that comes up in the body, right? It's not something that we're logically thinking. It comes up in the body and it produces uncomfortable emotions inside of us. And it's because your nervous system is causing you to your body to release hormones that cause you to feel that discomfort. So when you feel that discomfort, if you don't understand what's going on, you'll feel the guilt in your body. And without the understanding, your brain will start to give you reasons and you'll be in a loop. So what happens is your body feels guilty. And then your brain's like, well, why am I guilty? Oh, because I'm not speaking to my parents. That means I'm a bad kid. And then this happened. And then, you know, I'm doing this. And I, I said, no, and maybe they're right. And maybe I'm wrong. And why, what's going on? So the discomfort wakes up thoughts that try to understand the discomfort. And what your brain starts doing is giving you reasons based on past dramas. The crazy thing about that is those loops, those trauma loops can keep you stuck. They can keep you unhappy. They can keep you from living in the present. They can keep you from living the life that you really want. Even if you have boundaries and are out of all toxic relationships. Okay. That guilt has that much power. The, what comes up in our body, what's in our subconscious will always override our conscious mind. So that makes sense, right? A lot of people will be like, okay, Michelle, well, I know that. I get that. It makes sense. But even though I know that, when I try to tell myself that when I'm feeling guilty, it doesn't work. And that's true. We'll view it as like a program that your toxic family put into you. 
Think of like a computer. When you buy a computer, it has certain programs that it comes with. It might have Word, it might have QuickBooks, it might have who knows what, okay? Well, the program that is in your subconscious is guilt whenever you do something for yourself, whenever you make a decision that your family doesn't agree with. It is an automatic response because it's part of your subconscious programs. You're not choosing to feel guilty. It's that your nervous system is saying, oh, remember in the past, every time you did this, something bad happened. So if you do that, that means you're bad. Like your nervous system is reaching that conclusion without your conscious awareness. And it's one of those things that you can't overcome with logic alone. And it's also one of those things that it doesn't matter how long you're out of the relationship with your toxic family, that guilt will be there stay there and control you until you bring your nervous system on board with your healing journey. The dents that were put in your nervous system or the imprints, right? They were, your nervous system was imprinted because of the toxic family environment. We'll call those dents in your nervous system. You have to remove those dents. You have to teach your nervous system different programs. And that takes a little bit of time and that takes willingness to do the inner work to change your, the programs that are in your nervous system. But I wanted to say that I wanted to talk about this briefly because if you don't do the inner work, the guilt isn't going to go away. And I think a lot of us thought that leaving would be enough and that little by little, we would just become who we really are. And it doesn't work that way. We, we now have to teach our nervous system. Actually, we have to teach it to unlearn a lot of what it learned in childhood, parts that became part of our implicit memory, part of our subconscious programming. So I hope that at least understanding this helps you to know that when you are feeling guilty and it's causing you to do think or feel things that you really don't want to be doing, thinking or feeling. I hope that at least understanding that it's not you as much as it is your nervous system at least takes away some of the shame, right? And some of the frustration at not understanding why these things are happening. If you're ready to do the inner work and you want to train your nervous system, then this is the perfect time to join the Thriver School of Transformation. The doors close in one week. Here's the link to it because in January, we're going to start with implicit memory, working through implicit memory, which is what happens with guilt and any other emotion that you are conditioned to feel anytime you're trying to live your life as you, whether it's fear, uh, guilt, shame, your nervous system have, has those imprints and those dents, and it's not until you work through them that you're able to really live as you. So that's what we're going to do in January, and we're going to continue to deepen and learn how we can experience post-traumatic growth, which is the personal growth that we experience even though we've been through trauma. So make sure you check us out.